capable of uprooting trees and blowing down houses, it's a force to be reckoned with, and it's our job to tame its power to find new ways of improving the aerodynamics of your car. But to put the wind through its paces, we can't rely on the weather. So we built our very own wind tunnel facility. Inside the tunnel sits a fan with blades stretching 9 meters across. That just happens to be as wide as the wingspan of 8 geese flying in formation. We can learn a lot about drag from the way a bird's wing cuts through the air. And it's the effects of drag on your car, from the roof right down to the headlights, that interest us most. When the fan reaches full power, it generates 8,000 kilowatts of energy, enough to power 260 homes for a whole day. In fact, it's equivalent to the combined output of over 100 hybrid engines. But we use it to generate simulated wind. To make conditions as real as possible, Every car sits on a rolling road capable of recreating all kinds of surfaces, from rugged mountain trails to smooth highways. This helps us get a better idea of how air travels over, under and around the car to find new ways to reduce drag, because even the smallest change in the way wind works with or against you can have a dramatic effect on fuel economy and wind noise. And that attention to detail stretches as far as a wing mirror, where we carefully sculpt its shape, pushing air upwards to keep your car stuck down to the road. But we like to push the limit of what your car can do, so we keep testing in conditions of up to 250 kilometers per hour. That's more than enough wind to lift the average passenger plane into the air. And if your car can handle that, then you can trust that it's better designed to handle anything the road and weather can throw at you.